Well, what's going on, Cardinal Nation? Well, what a huge win today. Huge win. A huge comeback. 3-2 to two over the Minnesota Twins. As we win 2 of 3, winning back-to-back -back series against two likely playoff teams. Took 2 of 3 from the Brewers. And now 2 of 3 from Minnesota on the road. And the Twins got the go-ahead run in the 8th inning as they were just three outs away from a win. But a key error uh, brought in two runs in the ninth to give us the lead 3-2. And Ryan Helsley, a scoreless ninth inning for his major league leading 40th save, making his case to be the National League Reliever of the Year winner. So what a game. The Twins would take a early one nothing lead, a leadoff home run, by all-star Willie Castro playing at left field and then a move to shortstop. He's a utility player. So for Castro, his 11th of the year, 50th RBI, that would make it a 1-0 Twins lead. And it would stay 1-0 until the top of the fifth, a solo home run by Victor Scott II. For Scott, the second home run of his career, and 8th RBI, and ever since Scott got recalled up to the majors, which was at the beginning of August, he's been playing really solid. You know, he's still, his batting under 200 has just a 150 average and a 265 slug, but still, uh, offensively and defensively, he's been pretty playing pretty solid. Uh, and, yeah, and after giving up that Leadoff home run, Eric Fetty would settle in very nicely and go six solid innings, giving up just that one run, which was that leadoff home run by Castro, uh, and would strike out seven, would walk three, uh, and then a score the seventh inning from Andrew Kittredge, and uh, so it'd stay, stay tied 1-1 one, one until the bottom of the eighth. And by the way, Nolan Arnauto would extend his on-base streak to now 24 games, uh, which I think is the longest in baseball, or one of the longest at least. So 24-game on-base streak now for Arnauto. So as he's had a, a, a tough season, but that's great to, great to see. Uh, the Twins would strand runners on first and third in the seventh. Uh, also, in the bottom of the fourth, Eric Fetty would get out of a base loaded jam to keep it tied. And then in the bottom of the eighth, Jojo Romero on the mound. He would walk the leadoff batter, Castro, and then uh, would give up a RBI double uh, to pinch hitter Royce Lewis, who's a very good hitter. A former, I think, number one overall pick from like 2021. So that would make it a 2-1 to one Twins lead. Sean Armstrong would then come in to get the final two outs. So only down by one, heading into the ninth. Matt Carpenter leading off would strike out. And then Arnauto with an infield hit. And Jose Fermin pinch running for Nolan. And Brendan Donovan at the plate. And he would be safe. On a throwing error by the second baseman, Edward Julian, to put two runners on, Tommy Pham would strike out looking for the second out. But then Lars Newbar with a two-run single to put us up 3-2 to two down to our final out. So, wow, a clutch moment there for Newbar. It's been a rough season for him, spending uh, about quite a bit of time on the I.L., but a huge moment there. So, up a run with Helsley on the mound. Uh, we'll give up a leadoff single to veteran Carlos Santana, but nothing else. Two flyouts and a ground out to end it. So, what a game. That key, key error was the difference. If it wasn't for that, we probably would have not have won this game. So, what a game. Uh, and to do it against one of the best relievers in baseball, Yoan Duran. Uh, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty amazing. So, we're back to 500 now. 
They're coming back home to face the uh, San Diego Padres for four games. That will be a very tough and important series. The Padres are losing currently 1-0 to the Mets. They lost last night, San Diego did. So, um, and yeah, the Cubs lost today, 7-2 to to Miami. So, and yeah, also forgot to mention, but I'll mention it now, Wills Contreras, unfortunately, going on the I.L. for a second time this season. He was hit by a pitch last night, and it was revealed that he had a broken middle finger. And Yvonne Herrera called up from the minors to replace him on the roster. So that's a very tough loss. Losing Contreras for maybe the rest of the season. I mean, there's only a month left, and I mean, he only missed about six weeks since he had that broken arm in May. So, but we'll see. So it's been a rough season. For Contreras, uh, he has been solid since he returned, but now he's going back on the I.L., unfortunately. So, oh well, but Herrera, who has not played in the majors since uh, June, has been solid in the minors. So, till Monday against San Diego, Comics, we're saying go cards.